It's hot right there. Let's go back here. This time go live. I'm trying to do this in a different deal. I've got uh, my laptop set up. You know, I'm 60, 70 feet away from the Wi Fi thingy. Oh, that's okay. Vision, the doohickey was over with. Oh, I got a box of rocks over there. Hey, Carol. Hey, Ted. Um, I really do need to practice that. Any yeah, of you people that hadn't met Vision Quest, he's one of the channels I follow. He, he takes round rocks and makes pointy rocks and yeah, it's actually really cool. Hello, Pat. Hello, Old Spice. Um, Pat and Old Spice, I have no idea. I've never seen you before. But welcome aboard. This is not a regularly scheduled live stream. This is uh, me. Mostly checking to see if this is going to work. Yeah, let me have to close that door, though. I'm off. What's burning the stove? Y'all are down here in my man cave den slash workshop slash mess. Um, I think I'm supposed to remind all y'all. Hit the thumbs up on your way in and share the stream out across the interwebs. Let's fill the room up with a whole bunch of people that don't really want to talk to us. But if you know somebody that wants to hang out, let them over here. Oh, yeah. Um. I was cooking supper. Well, go for those of you that aren't from the south. Supper means the evening meal, and uh, we were. Let me rephrase that. Yo, you who ain't from the country, preparing the evening meal, and uh, we prep what we eat. So I'm in there, you know, pulling stuff out that's been on the shelf around how long. Most of it hadn't been there that long. But uh, making stuff, and I'm like, I wonder if how many people out there who watch your channel actually do stuff like this. Actually have to rotate their food. Actually, you know. How many weirdos out there actually go into uh, eight by fourteen, maybe twelve ish room to get the oldest canned food? Um, and the answer is, I don't know. There's no way in one. We moved so far beyond emergency preparedness, it's not funny. We want to be the people that can help somebody in emergency. So you have to have more than enough for just you for three days or three weeks or three months or whatever. <clears throat> the government has it up to now. Does anybody know what the count was last time? <coughs> <clears throat> we don't have a problem rotating because we don't prep anything we, that we don't eat on a regular basis. Some of the things that we prep, we prep a lot more of it than we do others. Uh, the stuff that we don't have to worry about it going bad if whatever. We had chicken and rice tonight. Uh, well, it's okay. Canned a, a pint jar full of chicken 
or I think it might have been actually been turkey that I, that we canned ourselves a can of um, condensed cream of chicken soup and two cups of rice. There was supper. Oh, you listen to Corsair Trainers, Pat? I listen to Corsair Trainers. He's all right. For, for a guy having to live behind enemy lines, he does all right. Not like Steve. If he's watching, he'll text me and go, what do you mean? I'm okay. I've actually got Steve to come on my channel a couple of times, but his schedule and our, my schedule, he's, uh, I don't know, a couple hours behind me. I think the, what time is it? Yeah, the sun may just now barely be going down here, so. It's dark 30 out there at mine. You need more barley, Carol? Uh, that's the the wheat that we have. We don't have to worry about it. Well, most of it. Um, the wheat and the oats and stuff like that we bought in number 10 kings. It's, you don't sweat it. You put it up. Oh, yeah, all spice. That's cool. Uh, no sure. I subscribe to so many channels and their bells don't all stay clicked. So, um, Y'all forgive me if I get up and hit the back door running because sounds like I may have a visitor. We have chickens and the dog is in there guarding the cow. So. I wish they lift this COVID crap. Uh, travel restrictions and all that is uh, I had actually considered going to Canada this winter. I was going to go up there as well. I was going to um, originally the plan had been to check and see if my invitation still stood with uh, Chris over at the Wooded Beersman channel and go up there and maybe try to do some ice fishing. Hey, Will. Oh, the invaded that you're from that North Shore. Yeah, okay, I remember that now. Yeah, y'all scared me out. I had never seen nothing like that before. I appreciate all these subs, though. Thought the name. I don't like that uh, they do the. They took away the deal on the side where you can you could click on it and you could go to the the people's channel. They made it awfully hard to subscribe, but um, they did that because so many people were just going over and, and subscribing. They weren't actually going to the channel and checking them out. And I'll I'll be perfectly honest. I go. I don't treat this like Facebook or um, anything like that. I, I go over and I check and see. As a matter of fact, I don't have that. I don't follow that many people, have that many friends on Facebook or follow that many people on Instagram. Um, if. YouTube, it's the 
it's the views and the watch hours or the watch time on each video that counts. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Yeah, if you get subscribers, that's an indication that your channel is doing well. But if your analytics aren't any good, then your your channel is not going to go anywhere. That's the plain and simple truth. Hey, creative. The creative always goes live when I'm in bed. I'm about to go to bed. He must be some kind of night owl. He's say some kind of hoot owl. Some Canadian hoot owl is what he is. Yeah, anybody got any questions about my I guess everybody in here is probably uh, preppers or into emergency preparedness. Does anybody have a plan for helping their neighbor out if they get in line? And I'm not talking into the world stuff. I'm talking just like your neighbor got fired, laid off, whatever. And uh, then they got evicted and they were living in their travel trailer. And then their travel trailer got hit by 18 wheeler while they were down at the food bank trying to get some groceries. <clears throat> and they're pretty much stuck out. Do y'all have a plan on helping those people? Yep. Any idea how you help? I've got the number to the local church. Leave it alone. You're not doing that. Creative redundancy. Are you suggesting? That we step outside of our comfort zone and actually communicate with people face to face in the real world and get to know our neighbors and cohabitants of this planet. Have you lost your mind? Seriously, huh? This is my magic wand. I'm old school. Like when I'm warning people that say, oh, when it all falls apart, all I'm worried about me is mine. That's why I'm gonna be. Somebody has any trouble or whatever. And they come up, start trying to walk up my driveway to say, hey, man, my baby needs some cough medicine. I'm just like, shoot them. I ain't worried about them. I'm just worried about me and mine. Not really. I don't know that I can do that. Well, Burley Carpenter, I know that face-to-face -face communication and actual physical contact where you can hear the tone of voice and see the inflection of emotion around the eyes and in the mouth and stuff is, is archaic, but I'm not sure that it's outdated yet. Granted, it's um, and unless you're short, you can still shake hands at six feet. Well, I can't. Maybe I can't. You have to lean into it. But as long as your feet are six foot apart, I think you can't catch it. Well, that's cool, Old Spice. <laughs> How's life down there? Oh, Trey, you made it in? Hey, cousin. How's life in Mississippi?
they put any more sheriff stations in around you? <laughs> I've met uh, Burley Carpenter's face to face. They live bitty fella. They probably ain't five foot tall. Uh, I've met Trey Zell face to face. Who else in here? Oh, I don't even know how to do this. I don't know if I'm a little mouse I think I do it up here. I haven't met Carol. I need to get up there. She's just right up the road for three hours. Hey, Vision Quest, you still in here? All you people need to go there and do a raid on his channel, too. Watch off his video on how to, how to turn rocks into knives and such. It's actually really interesting stuff. Is it raining down there again? Oh, Carol's eating. Vision Quest is one of those guys that I don't see him around the community much. He just, I think he just lives his life and makes videos. <clears throat> <clears throat> he, uh, hey, Vision Quest, I hope you're still in here, man. Ain't you the guy that didn't you send, uh, Woodbeard, some of those blades he uses, those uh, those flint knives, weren't that you? Yeah, that's uh, actually my, uh, I should have brought some of them in here. I've got a, <clears throat> I found somebody had caught a big gar, alligator gar, and through the, you know, they, you go through the back of the skin and you take out the back straps and you throw the rest of the fish away. Anyway, I found it in the riverbed where they throwed it out. And uh, I kept a large, I kept the skull, which didn't stay together very well. And uh, several of the scales off of it. And uh, my plan is to Use some of them for arrowheads and some of them for jewelry. Yeah, we had trouble getting self rising flour too, Carol. Um, they didn't have any, didn't have any, and then they everybody got it. <coughs> <laughs> this food shortage thing ain't over folks i don't um they're not able to keep all and it's not that they don't have the stuff they don't have the infrastructure to get it out to anybody and uh um, what it is now they're having to retool everything to to make to get the groceries Packaged for uh, residential distribution, I guess is the right way for for you know, just just normal folks instead of uh, cafeterias and you know restaurants and stuff like that. So, uh, you okay if I work on this arrow while I talk to you? Yeah. Um, So I don't know if they're unpackaging and repackaging and slowly getting stuff out or or 
what. Um, I was doing some research on the whole just in time uh, distribution system and the problems and the food shortage and the potential food shortages for uh, that we still face in 2021, which the United States is not alone in, by the way. Great Britain could be in a world of hurt if this uh, if they don't figure out some way to get the economy and their you know and buy the economy. I mean the you know the trucks rolling, the factories open, the restaurants open. The because Great Britain doesn't grow hardly any of its own food. I mean, they they import like ninety percent of their food. So, uh, Great Britain, them people are gonna starve to death. Is that fast? Uh, whether they got thirty days worth of food on the entire island and they're out. So you know that country's worried about it, EMP. Be a lot of free real estate in that country or on that island. I don't know. I think uh Iceland might be the same way. Greenland might be better. Hey, Rob. Didn't see you snuck in. Mommy has been ordering lids and rings for canning for several different websites. Yeah, they finally got some of those at the at the China Mart. And we bought a few. I'm just, I'm not I'm that guy that when I I'm at the store. And I see that there's something that I've been wanting and I know that we need. I can't just put all of it in the buggy. I know the next guy in line is liable to be the guy that puts all of it in the buggy and buys it all. So there's no none for anybody else. I've been behind those people in the store. And been heading for the same thing they were headed for. And I just, I can't do that to the person behind me. Whoever, even if they are a jerk, I, I can't. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. Now, well, you know, if there's the whole, if there's a dozen of them on there, will I only take one? No, I'll probably take three. But I'm not going to take 11. <laughs> yeah, to be a little after that. Oh, no, I got to get some wood. Or I'll still be able to talk to you. Didn't plan on this. Smoke in the fire, bitch. It's cold here. It's cold here. Two inch rounds in there. Better warm it up. It's actually not cold out here. Probably. Okay, all splash be good. Thanks for stopping by.
Oh, that's good, girl. How's the weather up there where you are, Mr. Painless? Did you get any of this wet that come through today? Which it wasn't nothing much today. Just real light, drizzly rain. Woke up to fog and it stayed foggy for ever. Can y'all see me okay? I, I should have asked that. I'm sitting right underneath the lot, boat. Can y'all hear me okay and everything? I didn't think about that either. Do you like that foggy, cold, wintry top weather? Rob, I was cleaning up out here. Nobody triggers easily, but I found this bag. And there's a box of 22s. Yeah. And a box of 12 gauge in it. Mm. Mm. I just spilled that. There was a box of 7.62 by 540. Scratch out a two of them. Yeah, there were two of them. Boxes. One steel case and one bra. Some out of a spam can and some out of a bucket. I don't know how long it's been out here. I don't even know. I'm thinking about getting hurt. Uh, this is, can't make up my mind. My uh, daughter is opposed to the notion. But she's not the one that has to put this. She, my daughter keeps short hair, but I'm not allowed to. I ain't 100% sure how that works. But, uh, there. Now I can look like, what's this, uh, Johnny Chong? So, hey, man. <laughs> it's annoying whenever you don't have it up and you go outside. It's is damn annoying because it's you can't do anything. I'll never ask my wife, why don't you ever leave your hair down? She always puts it up whenever we're working around the yard or whatever. I used to ask her that all the time. Why don't you just leave your hair down? It's so pretty now. I'm actually need to give me some of the really big trash bags. Um, all right, Rob. I'm trying to watch y'all, the chat, 
and my battery life. I've never, this first time I've tried to do a live stream from out here. Um, I'm like I say, I'm all the way on the opposite end of the house from my router. Is it jumpy or lagging or anything? Is it doing okay? This laptop actually has a better processor than my uh, my desktop does. But if I I tried to I did a live stream one time and had it plugged in while I was doing it and it got hot. Yeah, we can all talk about raw boys going. What do you want to talk about? What what off color? Things do y'all want to say about Mr. Rob Lesnar? I met Rob fans too. Gone hunting, camping, and fishing with Rob Painless on several occasions. Uh, they were talking trash bags. Uh, where'd you get the 45 for five at? Girl. Finding good deals on stuff is super important. Um, and I know it sounds weird, but if you can catch uh, a good deal on the charcoal briquettes, if you've got a place to see, if you've got dry storage, I would. I would seriously consider that. That's what we mean, 55 gallon drum liners. Uh, not them cheap little yellow ones either. The, if you've got a if you're going hiking, you need one of those. It's ounces, people. It's not going to kill you, but it just might very well save your life. Um, you need one of those 55-gallon drum liners, and they sell them in that bright safety orange. Super visible from the air. Super visible in the trees. If you get hurt, injured, and this is if you're hiking, if you get hurt, injured, lost, you now got this giant orange piece of plastic with you that will make shade, will shed water, and stick out like a sore thumb. Yes, they can. Um, when we were in, uh, me and Rob and Lee were in uh, San Antonio, I pulled the one out of my uh, bag because I didn't have, I didn't take my a rain slicker with me. I had to, I, uh, it, I didn't get any of it on camera, but I walked around with a trash bag on. Till that storm quit. That's that's the thing. If you're uh, if you're going, if you're bugging out and trying to whatever, it's different. But if you're hiking, you don't want to disappear into the woods to do a, a bug out exercise and carry, you know, have all your, your gear and camo and then slip, break a leg and 
bash yourself in the head and be incoherent and have the search helicopter hover over your location for three hours but never see you. Uh, when I'm by myself, I don't know if y'all noticed that or not. Go back and watch some of my videos. When I'm by myself, I've got on either a yellow, a pink, or an orange shirt. Or bright blue. I, um, if there's somebody with me, I'll wear camo. It's hard to get away with it. But when you're out on a day thing, wear bright colors, man. Stick it, I mean, look like some folk terror, uh, not terrorist. Tourist. I mean, you don't want to be, you don't want to look cool. You want to stick out like a sore thumb. That way, if you fall down in a ravine, they can see you. Yes. I don't know if she's in the chat or not. Uh, and all I got to do is. If I decide to go in the other room, is just walk in there. I wouldn't, you know, I'm not carrying a flare gun with me if I'm hiking. Uh, 90% of the places that I hike, if I shot a flare gun off, I would just start a fire that was going to burn me and everybody else around me to death. So, um, the Those little plastic signaling mirrors, they'll fit in your wallet. How many people actually have one of those with them when they go hiking? How many people actually realize it's a super good idea to be ready to get pulled out of a situation? Not all preparedness is preparing for economic collapse, EMPs, mass coronal ejections, the Yellowstone caldera, the New Madrid. Steve sliding off in the ocean. It's not, that's not all of um, Some of it is tornadoes. Hmm. Most, most, of, most of the preparedness is for tornadoes, hurricanes, blizzards, uh, floods, landslides. Did I say earthquakes already? Um, power outages. Uh, Stuff like that and car breakdown, uh, GPS malfunction, you wind up lost, stuck out in the middle of nowhere. The man and the woman that their vehicle they got lost and then they broke down and uh, they were able to keep the baby, most of the baby alive. And they were able to keep most of themselves alive. They both, I think the woman lost all of her toes. Um, I think the man lost his feet. And the baby lost uh, toes and fingers. I think that's the way that went. All because they weren't ready to be broke down. in the winter. Good evening, A-M-N. Hey, Umar. Yes, a whistle is a real, and a neck whistle doesn't weigh anything. Um, 
I see all these people with these fire starter necklaces and stuff like that. Why ain't they whistle on there? I have emergency whistles. I mean, a whistle, a way that several way. You mean you need a whistle? You need to learn. If nothing else, flip and learn how to whistle. How many people can actually whistle? And I'm not talking whistling zippity doo dah or nothing either. I'm talking one of them stupid ear piercing whistles. I can't I never could learn to do it with just my teeth, but if I can get my fingers in my mouth, I can whistle. Yeah, and do you let somebody know where you're going? Um, it's I used to be an idiot, and I would just get them to drop me off, and I would take off, and I wouldn't, you know, tell them where I anybody where I was going to be. There was three or four thousand acres out there I could be. In. I was bored. Lot as a kid, so and I haven't practiced, but I can whistle with any two fingers combination, like pinky and a forefinger. You see, pinky and a thumb. Maybe that's not sweet. Try it the other way. Pinky and a thumb. Like I say, I haven't practiced, but um, pointer, not pointer. Well, if everything's broke, but you've got two working fingers, you should be able to whistle. Um, and if nothing else, if I'll, I, I can do the, I'm not going to do it because it's really insanely loud. Yeah. Uh, Makes my freaking lip feel insanely mean, <laughs> but I can whistle with my lip. Just need to. Um, AC one oh three. My brothers can, they don't need no fingers, no nothing. Kind of annoying how easy it is for them to whistle. I should have got smart and brought, I had, I got a fire. I have a camping coffee pot. I could have, I could have had coffee sitting right there the whole time. You want to see my new little rig for filming with my camera or with my phone? No, it's right here. Uh, super cheap. So, it's got a fuzzy microphone. You need a big telephone in it. And it's got a base. It doesn't. I have one that you can adjust um, or whatever if you want to get fancier, but like this for doing still shots or walking and talking or whatever, this is great because I can reverse it and uh, turn it and just hold it like this and the camera will be blah, 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 blah. And, uh, the microphone works pretty good. I had it sitting on the other side of the room and uh, was talking to it. So it worked. I am very intent on All right, that's funny, but just get hey. Big boo, just get one of the, the fake teeth, get it to where it unscrews, and just screw with whistle in whenever you go hiking. And that way, if you need to, just 
just whistle through your tooth. If I have fake teeth up top, I get them to install a whistle in the top of it so I could just curl my lip back and just blow it. Just make a whistle. Make a whistle. I curl my teeth up when I talk, just curl my mustache over long, keep my upper lip curled out. And I just, whenever I talk, it would just whistle. I just do it to annoy people. <laughs> I, I'm going to get, get a whistle installed in my tooth. I'm too old to be Jesus. He'll never be a day over 33. And these are just pants with built-in extra pockets and suspenders. Hey, hey, made it in. Where are we hiding, Abe? You were sleeping, weren't you? You were, you, were, you were cheating on me with another channel. But I, I checked every other channel to see if anybody was live because I didn't want to go live. I just well, wanted to go hang out in a chat and know it was going live. So. I'm going to go get me a cup of coffee. I either got to leave y'all in here. I want y'all to out the fire. You want to watch the fire bunch? Make sure ain't nothing off secchi over there. Nothing will get anybody triggered. Y'all want to watch the fire while I go get some coffee? Or, uh, they're, I mean, they're great. I haven't got to wear, wear them in the summer yet. But we've had a couple of days where it was up mid 70s. And when you walk, you get for the really real air conditioning, you get airflow. And when you bend over, your waistband doesn't try to cut you in half. I'm really digging this. Um, I think they're, they're excellent. And that's another thing. I mean, everybody's prepping all this food and this, that, and everything else. Anybody got any uh, clothes put back? We got a sundries put back. And we got stuff that's put back that's not intended for anything other than if there's no more stores. I don't know if y'all noticed, but the first thing people do when everything's falls apart is they go burn all the stores down. There's a lot of people screaming about how there's going to be all these resources just laying around all over the place. I watch too much History Channel and not enough CNN and M. No, you don't bend over for a draft. You bend over and you don't get cut in half. You walk for a draft. I don't got one in Brazier thing. Don't need one. Yes. Keep eating tacos, I'm not. And I, that's the only thing, man, we haven't got the, we were making ourselves a pretty regular group of folks at the uh, thrift stores, but the thrift stores are in the bigger towns, and we don't go to the bigger towns unless we have to anymore. Um, not that we're scared, but why risk it? Or, uh, uh, what do you call it? A crush your heart pebble pouch. Depending on the lady.
What about simple ways to procure food? And I don't mean pew pews either. I mean simple ways. Have you you practice setting snares? Have you gone down to the local crazy lat cat lady's house and practiced setting snares? Not suggesting that. Just saying. Uh, are you proficient with a slingshot? I own two of them. I can't hit squat with them. Well, I'm not consistent. I can hit, you know, I can probably piss off a grizzly bear or something. I want to learn to do the uh, shepherd sling. Because that makes for pretty effective rock. Um, and I think everybody pictures that little wrist rocket spin over the head top sling or whatever. <clears throat> I'm the guy that leans more towards David probably had a uh, staff swing because you can chunk a rock the size of a tennis ball at 100 miles an hour. You know, it's a freaking cannonball. You smell, I don't care. You 10 foot tall, I hit you in the forehead and you're going to the ground, buddy. Shepherd sling is uh, basically a regular sling, but it's attached to a six foot staff. And you load it, put it over your shoulder, and you sling it. You, you swing the pole. <clears throat> you got your arm length, your shaft length, and it launches, it turns the, your shaft into your staff <coughs> into a catapult. Um, they're super deadly and almost every stone age bronze age um, shepherd would carry a um, shepherd sling on, and it would be on their staff And that way, if wolf or thief or whatever showed up, you had something that was lethal. And people, uh, people practice. I mean, they could be dead on. I mean, they could be lethal with those things at thirty yards, thirty to fifty yards. So. Well. Before he was King David, yeah. He didn't use the little over around the head. He used the one that goes on the stick. Was it? Yeah. He could have used the one, the little thing. He could have picked up a pebble and thumped it at the guy and still won if God wanted him to, to do it that way. That's, I wish I could get a quilt made. I would, there's a, a lady that makes quilts or whatever here. Don't have the money to commission the quilt. And I don't have the patience for quilting anymore. 
and you know basically you go in there and tell her what you want and she types it into the computer and the machine it's out a real There is a lot, if you hand stitch it, there's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of sewing goes into that. The, uh, this chair sucks. It's great for fishing, but it's not so great at leaning up and talking to y'all. But I actually want to get the uh, kids and uh, put um, the stuff that you put on in blankets or whatever, that cotton batting or whatever. And I want to have... Uh, A, a flannel inside and then the batting blanket and then um, windproof outside and like to have something like that that I could take with me when I go camping and stuff There's a reason. You can do Give me some of them fire tongs. I didn't have that log in there all the way. Then we tried to escape. I think I was wondering why they have those fireproof wood burning stove and why they tell you to keep all flammable materials away from it because things happen. Sometimes these things get hot and they break. I don't know. I'm not going to argue with Ted. I, I'm not an expert on it. I was quoting stuff I heard on the internet. I'm going to let that go real easy. Anybody got any tricks or anything that y'all can share with anybody or whatever that might help them? Get through all this mess. I tell you what, Biddy, if I see two, I'll tell you about one of them. I know where there's four sitting right now. You got any money? They're for sale. But the pot bellies are expensive. They are expensive. <laughs> I 
That's one way I did see one over. The place where I know that they've got them, the guy goes around and finds them and then reconditions them. And they are. It's got brass fittings and everything. It come out of a nice hole. Um, so yeah, the actual pot-bellied stoves which were the good ones. These will work, but they draft one end to the other end. This is a workable wood stove. I cook on it all the time. But the pot bellies is way better, but they were they were even more expensive back in the day. I'd give anything to have my mom back. You used to be able to pick them up when there's nothing. People around here we're buying them and making planters out of them 20 years ago. So now they're rare as hands to People just like uh, this guy uh, had a bicycle leaning up against a tree as an ornament. And it was a... Uh, 1950s John Deere bicycle. The frame alone was worth close to 600 bucks. Yeah, they used to, but too many of those wound up in the the because you know, guys picking them up and they get handed down, handed down, handed down. This lips bro, the legs get taken off, and then boom, it winds up at the, the scrap yard. Um, I've gave serious thought to doing a video on building one because I mean, I could, I could build me a pretty decent, uh, Hot belly stove. But I mean, that's man. Um, I can nearly buy one as cheap as I can build it. There you go, man. Hmm. You get lucky every once in a while you stumble upon somebody, but you've got people out there that they literally make their living. We've got two of them in this county. They literally make their living going around looking for people that just don't know what they have and trying to buy it. So that anybody see where I put my rubber band on? Keep falling down my face, annoying. You know? And if you're a good little girl, when you grow up, you can be a princess. Uh, did anybody watch NWA Prepper's little video I did on that little wood burning stove he's got? He bought. Off of Facebook or something like that. I've made one of those before. Mine was a little different, but uh, 
I made one almost just like that. Same exact concept. Uh, I didn't have set screws on the legs. Just had uh, had collars welded on the bottom, screw them in and out, which worked okay until they got rusty. <laughs> Same with the set screws, by the way. I need to quit this. My intent, the zero, was to make a, to finish it using flint, a flint knob. Wound up in my hand again. Well, I'm down here because down here I can fiddle with stuff, keep my hands busy, and I don't smoke as much. I honestly don't change smoke all the time. I only change smoke on focus on what y'all are doing, talking about. Nobody got any super neat tricks or whatever to help any of these folks out and stay alive. How many people in here know how to swim? That might come in handy. I mean, right now, you may not need to know how to swim. Like me, I live in the desert. I don't really know how to swim. But if I have to go to, uh, to say I want to bug out the Bitty Boo's house, I got to cross more than one river. And if I'm sneaking, I'm not going to take the bridge. So that means I got to swim across them rivers. I stopped long enough to make me a raft. And I don't know about y'all, but you know them rivers? You can't see it, but that water, it's moving. So you might start swimming here. Or rafting here, but you're gonna be by the time you get across that puppy, you're gonna be a half a mile down the other way. Well, depending on how wide the river is, San Antonio. If you get all the way across, there ain't no place to get out. You're screwed. You can't swim. You might want to learn how to go swim. Be surprised. I didn't learn how to swim until I was way into being grown. Just never went anywhere where we had to learn to swim. My brothers joined the Navy and didn't know how to swim. They learned. They didn't know when they went in. The anonymous American. Where are you in here? Where are you hiding at? Did you live, leave? Shower boy ever make it back in here? She's still scrubbing. Scrubbing his ears and such. Got a red dot down there on my computer telling me I've got to restart it or something. They keep wanting me to connect all my devices together. How many of you people have got your devices synced? There's people out there that just, I mean, they're, they just never got to learn, man. Um, I didn't know my mom could swim until I was, 
an adult. But my mom didn't grow up here. She grew up somewhere else. She grew up somewhere where there was water. I ha I didn't even, somebody taught my son to water ski. I didn't even know. He goes skiing on the side of mountains, for crying out loud. You would have figured it. You didn't learn that from me. Water skiing seems fun. Always wanted to try that. But, uh, no skiing. I'm not interested. Too many trees out there. Too many trees and other people. Moose. Been watching a lot of moose attack people on because I watch Canadian channels. So when I suggest that I get moose videos and um you're just like wow moose are assholes. <laughs> Africa's got a hippopotamus. And uh, North America's got the moose. Yeah, yes. Watched one the other day. That moose jumped the fence and stomped the crap out of some lady's Cocker Spaniel. The dog wasn't even doing nothing. I don't even think the dog barked at the moose. Or anything, just standing there looking at it. But instead of running, the little cocker spaniel cowed down to it. I don't mean, I don't mean no harm. And the moose just, I mean, nearly killed it. If there hadn't been a human there, that dog would die. And why are there so many stupid people going to Yellowstone? Can anybody answer that question? Why are there so many stupid people going to Yellowstone? Do they not? They should like have to do an IQ test. People getting out of their cars and walking up to within 20, 30 paces of North American bison and taking a picture. If my wife is in the chat, she'll probably say she knows somebody like that. It was a baby moose. I never got that close to That's that's the deal. That's like uh, there's people that like uh, whenever we visit people in um, East Texas and Corinth uh, East, they you know they can't understand why I'm so fascinated by all the trees. You have trees. We have bushes. I just do not know how good you have it. Rule number one, after you straighten an arrow shaft, you do not lean it up against the wall. I already straightened this once. In case it takes a lot of work. That's a good one. It's not hard, you just get it wet. Warming up in the fire. Let's do that until it's nice and dry. So, yeah, good, Tim.
There's Corsair train. Now I'm going to have to change the chairs. I should have bought a fold up chair out there. I actually got a comfort chair over there. Maybe you can get This is. See, if I sit like this, it's okay. I guess if I quit feeling myself, I'm okay. There you go. How about you, Steve? You got any tips and trips to, or, yeah, tips and trips to keep these people alive? Because I'm pretty sure that Anonymous is probably going to die in the apocalypse. I think Betty Boo will be all right till I show up and start breaking her heart by eating all of her livestock. What do you mean you're on a hamburger? <laughs> There's 600 pounds of black and white hamburger right there. <laughs> Um, you know, that's how grass grows, of course, there's, you know, it's going to start putting up, uh, California's not special anymore, man, we're all the same now, remember, man, we're all in the same country again. Yeah. Carol's living in the new desert. So. Man, hell, Texas ain't seen rain in forever. I was hoping Rob would come back in. He doesn't like us. I mean, he's going to get another stick of wood and throwing it far. I still got some battery. I got half my battery left. How long have I been over here? Huh? And 20 minutes. <laughs> I was grabbing firewood like that once in the stick, man. It's a little unnerving. More careful than I used to be. Yeah, it's a thing that does that in normal places. What part of Canada are you in creative? I mean, Canada's up there in the north where they got trees and stuff, rains and snows up there all the time. Hey, diggers. Yep, I'm pretty sure Anonymous is, is toast. And apparently, Steve doesn't even care, man. He's not even going to give you any tips. He just wants you to blend in. He wants you to be like normal people. Just run, nobody come looking. All right. We'll just, if it hits, man, we'll just count you as a loss.
for what? Can't leave me hanging with just that much information. One senior person, dude. Give me the whole skinny on it. Timo's in here. Timo knows how, how. Timo, give these people some advice on how not to die in an emergency. Nobody else will share. Nobody, nobody cares about anybody else. Somebody stole one of my beer. Rob, did you come over here and get one of my long stars? I was holding on to that. Don't put your elbow in the cup holder. You know what? Listerine is this because that is mostly alcohol. That would work. Everybody has a plan until something breaks. Well, not panicking is something that I'm supposed. I'm just going to go ahead and write myself off to. I feel on top of industrial disinfectant. Does anybody have a friend with a backhoe? Serious question. Do y'all, does your mutual assistance group have a backhoe on site? But, Digger, you can give yourself an aneurysm trying to plan for everything. You, have, you do have to have a plan, and you have to have a backup plan. But you also have to develop the ability to modify those plans on the fly. Um, you know, having a location and four or five different routes is fine until you get halfway there on one of the routes you've taken and you take a 50 cal through the engine block. There's, you can't plan for a 50 cal through the engine block. Um, there's, Risky. Our bridge was supposed to be risky. I'm gonna have to scoop poke y'all. Don't freak out. I'm not trying to kiss you or nothing. I'm just gonna get closer. I can read the chat. But I can't keep leaning up. Oh, but see, there's the deal. You've left yourself 
part of your contingency is to be flexible in the plan. Uh, we've had to completely, we have completely revamp everything. We're still trying to work through the logistics of what a new plan would look like now. Um, She's a real brain scratcher. Luck has kept me alive and people's inability to shoot. Everybody's trying to tell everybody to practice and learn how to use their weapons and stuff. I just seen everybody remain ignorant. I don't want the guy shooting at me to be good with his gun. I don't want him to miss. I've enjoyed that. Yes. Flexible and stuff, all kinds of stuff in these pockets. Woo, not in the Everglades. Um, skeeters to eat you alive. Um, the downside the swamps. Can you imagine being in the Everglades on a boat? When hurricane come through, oh lord! Um, there's a reason there's high water marks on them trees in the swamp. Sometimes it gets that up. Yeah, me and the missus were talking about that. Well, actually, me and her were talking about a conversation she had with somebody else about the fact that God is usually, even when you don't realize he's getting you out of something, God's getting you out of something. It's, and I know that's hard on a lot of things, like, uh, If they hadn't have found my son's brain cancer when they did, it would have been bad. Um, he was going to lose his, I mean, he was, they were starting to have problems with him at work because of the seizures. The seizures didn't appear as grandma seizures. He would literally just stop what he was doing and stand there for five minutes. And come to and go right back to what he's doing. And he could have done that when he was riding his bike. He could have done that when he was going down the highway in an old wore out old truck. He could have any other time than behind the wheel of a vehicle equipped with collision avoidance software. Um, they found that tumor because God impressed me to ask one question. Why is there a shadow on the brain scan, he didn't hit his head in the accident. He's like, what? Is it, he didn't. He didn't hit his head in the accident. There was no. He didn't smash into anything. The car rolled to a stop. There was no impact. The 
vomiting and stuff wasn't caused by the wreck. He was vomiting and stuff while the wreck was going on. So they went back, did another scan, did some checking, and they found brain changes. They operated on it, and now he can live to be 70, 80 years old. Up. He's <coughs> got the tick and still talks a little funny, but he's doing all right. Um, they won't ever, they won't ever let him go back to work. Um, <coughs> well, he'd have to completely retrain for something else. And then he'd have to find somebody who was willing to deal with the the sick because he'll have uh, he'll have that tick from now on, and it's a well he can get on the one of the medications will you know will stop it, but then. He can't do anything else. The medications he's on for the seizure medication or the seizure medication he has actually he's alive. Praise God, he's alive. I'll agree with all of that. How many people out there are actually willing? Yeah, God never said you'll like it this way. He just said you need to do it this way. <clears throat> How many people are actually aware that they might have to give up a lot of the modern convenience They're, and the stuff we'd be giving up they really are just conveniences uh, electricity is not well for some without electricity they die but for a lot of us, we don't have to have it. It, it scares me to death. That's why I love my uh, All-American canner. It doesn't have to have a gasket. It's not dependent on petroleum distillates anymore. Um, I really, really like that. Um, that's, you know, why I try really hard to listen to old people that have been there, done that. One, the teacher. Because they got a whole lot better idea 
about what's what it's going to take to live through a uncomfortable time in world history than we do. No, uh, is J.C. Miller come in? Yeah, J. Hey, J.C. Mr. Miller, Miller, Michael. The only problem I have with no electricity is that's where I get my water. I was pricing some of those, uh, another one of those jugs, some jug tanks. Oh, doggy. I need to find me another user. Them things get binky. They want a dollar a gallon. So thank you. Right ahead. Yeah, that's the the thing is uh you know in the summertime around here, just wait till you know, just go out in the mornings before it gets hot. You know, as soon as the sun comes up, you go out and get busy. The only problem is the skaters know that rule too. Uh, all those and that's something else. I mean, all the things that we use to get rid of mosquitoes nowadays. You ain't gonna get no you ain't go to the water world and buy you no deep. You ain't gonna be able to replenish your supply of skin so soft neither. Um I've never been a believer in that shit or no, mostly because it don't work. So, seriously, the best thing I ever found was just regular. Seriously. But we don't like the smell of kerosene. Learning kerosene. Coal oil, rather, I guess. Any other, you know, the, the lamp oil, they don't, they don't want to smell of it. Well, that's been my experience, anyway. Roasting my stick. You can do this with a heat gun, too. You can see, y'all probably can't, but I can actually see the... It's humid enough to where this, the stick is actually damp. No. <laughs> really like to have a kiln. I like that lot of stuff. Nice here. I heat with wood so winter don't bother me, but that's why I want a windmill. Because with windmill you can make a uh, artificial Um, spring house and it's not cool in the spring house the water coming out of that ground is 45 degrees 45, 48 depending on where you're at we 
one spring that I know of, eight and a half miles that way, water comes out of the ground 40 degrees. It's cold. The guy that owned it actually had a, uh, put a little well down into the aquifer where the spring comes from. Because the, the spring quit flowing. You know, it was still seeping, but it didn't flow enough to do. So we put a, a well down into it. And we take our kids over there when they're little. And they turn the sprinkler on in the middle of the summer. It's 100 degrees out there. And kids running around out there on that little patch of Bermuda grass with a 40 degree water spraying all over them. Hey, happy as can be. We show up over there for something. Kids be like, can, can we go play in the water? Load them up in the back of the truck. They can go there turn off. And uh, the where the spring came out, there was a trough built, so the water flowing from the spring would run through the trough and then exit the building. And they would collect the water from the, the spout where it exited the building. But the water trough on the inside was used to keep stuff cool. I mean, um, a spring house with 18-inch uh, walls with cool spring going through it, you keep it 50 degrees in there in some time. It's good science. Just, you know, not everybody could have a spring house because not everybody had a spring. So... Springs I know of around here, the water comes out nice and cold, but it gets hot and fast. And during the summer, by the time where it comes out, it's usually already warmed up some because it's coming through uh, limestone. And the sun's beating down on top of that limestone. So it doesn't make it all the way to the surface nice and cool. Yes, sir. Um, I would love to get another guided tour of the uh, Ranching Heritage Museum up in Lubbock. I hadn't been to one of those in a long time. These uh, four sixes? <coughs> no. Of course, it was another one. The uh, yucca stems, either the yucca or the sotos. I've been in the sotos because they get the sotos. This is a yucca. Well, This is a yucca flower stem. This is a soto flower stem. This is only about a third of it. My walking stick is squeezing the nut. Doesn't weigh as much as a can of beer. Literally, it doesn't. I mean, I'm holding this in. Uh, but anyway, those 
they make good insulation. So they took around their spring house, well, where the water exited the spring house, they lined uh, a patio with those to keep the sun out. It allowed the breeze to come through, but not the sun. And they literally, that's where they ate their meals and stuff during the day because it was the coolest place on the property. Um, you make do with what you got. You, what is it? Do the best with what you got where you're at. And people will figure stuff out. This stuff also, as far as wood goes in North America, this has the lowest combustion tem temperature there is. This stuff catches on fire really easy. Um, it even burns easier than, than redwood does. When redwood burns. Hey, Walter. Billy. Digger's bouncing out again. I am about out of battery, folks. I think I can hold on another 15 minutes. Or... Little cheap. Um, $20 Walmart grill or grocery store grill or whatever and some charcoal briquettes. <clears throat> I think would be a really good investment. Especially if you're a city dweller. You know, something that you can keep in the house and don't use. But then... You know, if the lights go out and they're not coming back on for a couple of weeks, at least you can take it out on your patio and, you know, grill the neighbor's canary or whatever. As long as the neighbor doesn't catch you catch, catching this canary. Later, American. Anonymous American. Tell your dogs I said, hey. His dogs growl at me whenever I talk. That's, that's what you got to do, Ben. I mean, it's, uh, you know, I ordinarily burn mesquite in here. Somebody's oak tree died, and they said, if you want the oak tree, come cut it down. So I went and cut it down. I'm still burning oak. Check a lot of your sources. There's been people that have been coming on my videos telling me that, man, you can't eat prickly pear. That stuff got alkaloids in it. It'll kill you dead in a hammer. Hey, pendejo. I'm still alive. And I don't just make videos of me eating cactus. I literally eat that stuff. I, I harvest and eat cactus off camera. It's one of my favorite flipping foods. You just got to get the right kind of cactus and you need to cook it. Um, I was researching it some more the other day and they actually um the native americans would go so far as to dry the cactus so that they would have it in their their food storage there are some cactuses out there you don't want to eat 
because they'll make you sicker than a dog. But prickly pear and cow's tongue are not those. You can eat prickly pear and you eat cow's tongue. Good night, Pat. I didn't see him. Got anybody else sneaking off? Hello. Or is it not letting me scroll? There it is. All right, Pat, have a good night. Anybody else that I missed leaving? Coming in. Hello, if I missed you coming in. And good night if I missed you going out. Um, <clears throat> well, hold on. Um, the best tasting cactus is actually the one that's the biggest pain in the mouth. Uh, when the prickly pear pads are really young, they'll put these little meaty horns off of them, and then oh, I'll just flip those off and good to go, right? No, those are actually houses for the glockids that are fixing to grow out of that cactus. They're actually better off waiting until those start to want to fall off and the glockets are all grown out. And then you can flick those off when they're about ready to come off. You can knock those off and then put in the fire. The stickers will burn off. You can eat all of the prickly pear. Just not all of it's worth the effort. There's wine cups. The way you do those are like sweet potatoes. You actually make you flags, you know, make sticks. And if you find a uh, field that's got a bunch of wine cups on it, you actually go out there and you find the the wine cup and then you put a, a stick by it. Some of them are going to fall over but not all of them. Then that way when winter comes on, you can go out there winter or early or late fall, you can go out there to where the sticks are and instead of getting a, a little tuber the size of a Clove of garlic, you get a tuber the size of the whole garlic. And, you know, they'll, they'll be twice as big in the winter as they are in the summer. And they actually taste better. Because in the summer, all the energy is in the vines, the leaves, and the flowers. It's putting all of its energy into Reproduce it. Then, which it'll do how it does. And then, if you know where that center bulb is, you just come back and dig that up. Make sure you don't harvest all of them. Don't even harvest half of them. They're kind of like a sweet potato. It's just like a sweet potato. It's just almost just like a sweet potato. Don't eat the ones that have been in the road being driven on. Those are all. What am I? Hold on. Oh, damn you. Ooh. 
U. U. I didn't win. I should have left that story on. I didn't need to hear that. It gave me. Well, I'm going to figure out why my phone's farting in. What the heck is that? Hold on, dude. Is that that wacky cactus? No. There's one cactus that's shaped like that that you do not eat. The, the one that's like it's all weird at the bottom. Let me eat that one. Or is that is that just a normal prickly pear that's doing that? It's just trying to expand, dude. That must be really old. Those pads must be are those pads really old? I, don't know, I think your cactus is broke. Um, you might want to Google it. I don't. Know. I'm gonna save that to my phone, and I'll send it to picture this, and see if I can find out what it is. And yes, apparently I have private conversations with people that are in the chat. So, oh, porcupine, good. I like porcupine. Porcupine take good. Porcupine take like squirrel on his bigger. Yeah, you see the size of those chickens. Uh, there is a cactus, and I'm not going to say who told me about it and who is growing it. That. There's only one reason to eat it. You eat it in small portions and you get to have a party. And I ain't interested in a hard enough time holding on to the real world as it is. Yeah, good liberals. You know, if you give that a big pot, I bet it. Uh, I bet it's like the cactus that I have growing back here. <clears throat> there are several different kinds of prickly pear, prickly, prickly pear. The specific one that grows back here, it grows across the ground. It doesn't grow up much. It grows across the ground and it roots out. But then every time it gets root, it goes up and it puts up petals and it puts up a massive amount of very large fruit i'm actually trying to i've actually cut it up and moved it pieces of it and threw it back down in the pasture <coughs> to encourage it to spread because where it was at a pack rat discovered it and uh made a house in there and was 
actually eating so much of it that it's actually struggling now. It was huge. I could get probably one containers of cactus fruit off of one cactus. Yes, you can ferment the cactus juice and drink that too. There's been live streams where y'all have watched me drink fermented cactus juice. It's really good. All right, Timo. I'll drop you an email sometime, man. We need to do another live stream. <laughs> exactly, man. Good night, Carol. Look, all you people bailing on me. Oh, I did tell you, I'll give you 15 minutes. Yeah, I'm, it hasn't gone red yet, but I'm almost out of battery anyways. So did y'all like this before everybody leaves? Is this cool? More laid back, casual? Whether that's focused, but uh, if y'all like the way this live stream went or whatever, let me know. Write me a letter down in the comments after this closes out or whatever. Um, one thing is there wasn't as much interaction with the missus uh, but I am going to go in there and spend time with her now so um, I really do love all you people and I really do want y'all to stay alive you don't need to die before it's your time Don't be a statistic. Don't pay no extra. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good one. All right. I'll see y'all tomorrow night around 8 30 ish. All right. <coughs> I just tried to close it with my finger. Hold on. Where is the dead gum? There it is. Yeah, okay.